at the Avalon Air Show 2025, and Dural Industries made a bold move by unveiling a full-scale model of its Fury Combat drone for the first time internationally. This strategic presentation is widely seen as an effort to attract Australia's interest in the country's Collaborative Combat Aircraft CCA, program, where Boeing's MQ-28 Ghost Bad has already secured a significant role. With Australia having already committed 600 million Australian dollars for 10 Ghost Bat units and an additional 400 million Australian dollars for three upgraded models, and Dural's entry into the market introduces new competition that could challenge Boeing's stronghold. David Goodrich, CEO of Endural Australia, confirmed that the company is actively participating in a Royal Australian Air Force RAAF, evaluation process, with a decision pending government approval. However, no timeline has been provided for this decision. The Fury drone is a Group 5 autonomous combat aircraft designed for multi-role operations in high-threat environments. It features lattice software for mission autonomy, allowing seamless coordination with both manned and unmanned platforms. Its modular architecture supports rapid sensor and payload reconfigurations, making it capable of executing electronic warfare, surveillance, and strike missions. Key Capabilities of the Fury Drone Speed, up to Mach 0.95, with 9G maneuverability. Modular design, allows integration of third-party sensors and weapons. Advanced software, uses lattice AI-driven autonomy for independent operations. Engine, powered by a commercial jet engine, balancing fighter-like performance with extended endurance. Fury's open architecture allows for the integration of new technologies, ensuring adaptability to evolving threats. Developed using rapid prototyping and digital engineering, the drone is designed for fast and scalable production, reducing development costs while offering a high-performance combat solution. And Dural's interest in Australia's combat drone market puts it in direct competition with Boeing's MQ-28 Ghost Bat, which has been custom-built to meet RAAF requirements. Unlike the Ghost Bat, which features a proprietary design, Fury is built with commercial off-the-shelf, COTS, technology, potentially lowering costs and simplifying production. Steve Parker, Boeing's interim head of defense, space, and security, downplayed the competitive threat of Fury, highlighting that the Ghost Bad has already completed over 100 test flights and is significantly ahead in development and testing. However, Malcolm Davis, a defense expert at the Australian Strategic Policy Institute, ESPI, suggested that Fury's potential lower cost and faster production timeline could place significant pressure on Boeing's pricing and long-term viability. And Dural's ambitions extend beyond Australia, as the company is also exploring market opportunities across the Indo-Pacific region. A recent collaboration with Singapore's Defense Science and Technology Agency, DSTA, and the Republic of Singapore Air Force suggests that Singapore is considering Fury's autonomous capabilities for its own defense strategy. Meanwhile, in the United States, Fury is competing in the U.S. Air Force's Collaborative Combat Aircraft CCA, program, which seeks to develop autonomous drones to support next-generation fighter jets. The first scheduled flight of Fury in the U.S. is expected this year where it will be tested against a rival model from General Atomics Aeronautical Systems. General Atomics has taken a measured stance regarding competition in the region, with spokesperson C. Mark Brinkley stating that the company's priority is expanding market opportunities rather than engaging in direct competition with Boeing's Ghost Bat. Brinkley also emphasized that General Atomics production facilities can deliver up to 200 aircraft per year, contrasting with Endural's more limited manufacturing capacity. Endural has hinted at the possibility of manufacturing Fury in Australia if the drone is selected by the RAAF. David Goodrich suggested that a local production facility could be established, a move that might influence decision makers regarding the balance between domestic defense industry support and foreign technology adoption. This approach could directly challenge Boeing, which has already secured significant government funding for ghost bat production in Australia. However, Endural has not yet confirmed whether an Australian production line is a serious consideration. The company recently announced the opening of a major manufacturing facility in Ohio, where it will produce Fury, the Roadrunner Interceptor Drone, and the Barracuda Cruise Missile family. 
Australia's interest in combat drones aligns with its broader defense cooperation with the United States. The U.S. has indicated that future CCA drones could be made available for export under the Foreign Military Sales FMS, system, potentially allowing Australia to acquire Fury if the RAAF sees it as a viable alternative to the Ghost Bat. The competition between Fury and Ghost Bat represents a critical moment in Australia's drone strategy. With escalating regional security concerns, Canberra may consider a hybrid approach, continuing investment in Ghost Bat while evaluating alternative drones like Fury. The presence of Fury at Avalon 2025 marks an important milestone for Enduro, as the company seeks to position itself as a leading player in the autonomous combat drone market, both in the US and internationally. Whether Australia chooses Fury, sticks with Ghost Bat, or adopts both platforms, its decision will shape the future of its unmanned air combat strategy for decades to come. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any updates. See you in the next video. Take care and stay awesome.